Hello my soccer universe! As you know Euro 2024 is coming around and again I have the goal of having a jersey for each of the nations that have qualified for these Euros and I'm actually at the time of shooting this video my collection is looking quite good. When the first 21 qualifiers were announced I had only two missing in my collection which is actually good news meaning quite happy with what I have in my collection uh, but there were two countries that I needed to get and I needed some help with that that one and thankful I had the two great Serie A jerseys sent to Andy for restoration I said well he will have to send something back to me anyway so we might add some shirts and thankfully he agreed to assist me there and he really helped me at identifying two great choices for these two nations that are missing and I'm gonna show you the first one and first things first I have shot unpacking videos for these two jerseys already unfortunately the sound quality was so off that they are not usable so and you won't get an unpacking here it will more be a reveal but this might actually speed up things as well the first country is actually a neighboring country of Austria and it is so weird it was that it is actually hard to find one yes I'm picky at, as well I have to say and yes uh, around three to four years ago jerseys of the team kept popping up and for some reason I never bought I even had to buy uh, the chance to buy an original of uh, the manufacturer store and for some reason I didn't buy although I always knew that sooner or later I will need one now geofact geofun fact if you would like Austria has eight neighboring countries uh, within Western Europe, I mean Russia has the most with 14, then China and so on have 10 and they are more, but within Western Europe. Only Germany has more neighboring countries than Austria with 9. Austria is level with France, Turkey and Serbia. Serbia is slightly smaller than Austria with 8 neighboring countries. And of 7 of these I have a jersey. Even Liechtenstein, there's only one missing. And let's go quickly. Italy, check. Switzerland, Czech, Liechtenstein, Czech, Germany, Czech, Czechs, Czech Republic, of course, Czech, 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 <laughs> Slovakia, Czech, Hungary, Czech, it's this eighth one that's missing and you might already have guessed it, let me reveal it to you, as I said, I've, I've been picky, but this one is actually quite nice one, there's a reason why I'm wearing this US jersey, it's of course Slovenia, and I have here a, um, I don't want to say basic version, but more, more or less a fan version of the 2010 World Cup home jersey. Uh, having said fan version, uh, you can take tell this from the tag, but other than that, the design is pretty much the same. It's only that the material is not this bobbly material that this has. Uh, it is more of a, um, a smooth material, a little bit cheaper. And I think Slovenia have been doing that. I well I I'm really happy to have have this one as a memory of one of the greatest games of that World Cup that I actually watched in the US. Uh, I, ac I actually want to have one in the more modern version, you know, where uh, the green was then let go in favor of blue, and we'll talk about that in just a sec. But yeah, it didn't happen. But for this basic version, so the material is a little bit smoother, which honestly, if you want to wear it, is not so bad. Uh, other than that, the design is the same. We have the weird band-aid tape. Uh, taping at this uh, jersey's head. We have, have, of course, the zigzag pattern. We have the Slovenia crest, which never was my favorite. I've, this they should use, not this weird thing, although the previous one was in verse. The only thing we have also, let's say, Slovenia on the back. Uh, I actually want to check to the henna. The only thing is, you know, this jersey had a motto in here that is missing. I think this, this, is, this is the only thing that's missing. But other than that, the jersey itself is in a really good condition and looks actually really, really nice. Now, I, I remember when Slovenia was drawn with the US, uh, one a talking point was always that this is a Charlie Brown jersey because of the zigzag pattern that Slovenia has. Question is, what should this zigzag pattern stand for? Well, it's the Triglav mountain, the uh, three peaked mountain top, which is the national mountain of Slovenia, I think even the highest mountain, which is also present in the coat of arms. Maybe I should pull it back down to show you. You see here, he is also Mount Triglav in there. So this is where the zigzag pattern is coming from.
Now this is the last set by Nike that featured the green and white that have been kind of synonymous with Slovenia in the whenever since ever they got independence, uh, which was quite contentious within the country of Slovenia itself because their national colors, if you look at the flag, I mean it's the Slavic colors of white, blue and red. So where does this green and the white come from? Well, it comes from Olympia Ljubljana because similar federation president decided, okay, we'll use the uh, colors of our most successful club and we also use their nickname, the Dragons, which never really caught on. And so there was then a major redesign to kind of get a little bit more blue in and also add the green only as a secondary color. And there have been some really nice jerseys released since then. I especially like the ones from 2018 and 2020. The last set was horrific, but you know, there were some really, really nice ones. Even the first one, the 2012 one was a really, really nice one using basically this design, but then with a blue and a lime green triglyph pattern on there as well. However, given that this is a World Cup jersey, I'm quite happy to have this one and I'm not picky. I mean, Andy found this for a very reasonable price. I think it was around 20, 25 pounds or something like that. So I'm not complaining and I needed a Slovenia jersey. I actually found on Wilhelm the uh, away jersey as well, which I'm somewhat contemplating, but the seller wants still a little bit too much money, which was same green that went with a lime green uh, trigger of pattern, which I think looks also quite interesting. Um, Slovenia doesn't qualify that often for World Cup. However, they did it twice ever since Austria qualified for the last time, which tells you there's a whole lot of talent and this Slovenia team again has a lot of talent in there. So let's see how they will be doing at this Euros. In any case, I'm prepared for Slovenia. So let me know what you think about this jersey. Did you know about the Triglav pattern and the color abnormal <laughs> abnormality that uh, we have for Slovenia. Any case, give me a thumbs up, enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!